Ever wondered if your phone is listening to you? I can't say for sure, but what I can say is that online tracking has become so bad that big tech and their buddies in the ad business don't even really need to because they can already read your mind. Don't believe me? That's okay. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, uh, but stick with me and I might change your mind. And I'm also going to give you a couple tips as well that can stop these people from reading your thoughts. Let's start with the most obvious kind of tracking that's used to target you, search tracking. If you're talking about something, especially if you're talking about it a lot, you've probably searched about it online or at least something that's related to it. And you might not even realize that you've done this. Over 8 billion searches are made on Google every day. And we do it all the time without really thinking about it. I used the search to find that statistic. Online search is such a core part of using the internet that you probably don't realize how often you're actually doing it and how much you're giving away to advertisers when you search for something. If you don't want your searches to be spied on, I would recommend using a privacy respecting search engine like DuckDuckGo or Mojik. Another way that big tech and their advertising buddies can read your mind is through online activity tracking. If you're using Google Chrome, but you're not using any privacy enhancing browser extensions, Basically, everything that you do in the browser can be tracked by advertisers. Even if you aren't actively shopping for something, any online activity that indicates that you might be interested in a certain product can be used to target you with that product. A good example of this would be if you had a big hiking trip coming up and you were looking at some YouTube videos related to the hike. Then later that day, you're chatting to some friends, maybe you need some new boots or a new tent, and then voila, you're getting ads for boots and tents that maybe were the ones that even that you were talking about. This feels like it's because of your conversation, but really it's because you're on that activity. Okay, so now let's have a yarn about location tracking. And as you can tell, we're kind of getting creepier and creepier here with the type of tracking that we're focusing on. Let's say you're hanging out with a friend and they just got a really cool pair of Crocs. They love these Crocs and they're just talking your ear off about it. This happened to me recently, actually. Me and this friend hang out pretty often and we always have our phones with us. This means that all of the apps on our devices that have access to our GPS location data know that we're spending time together and they can sell this information to advertisers. On top of that, if my friend bought his Crocs online, that purchase was also tracked. So they know that he made this purchase, they know that he's hanging out with me on a regular basis, and they know that I have shared interests. So they're potentially going to advertise this product to me as well. If you're new to this privacy stuff, yes, tech companies and advertisers really are that creepy. To protect yourself from this, you just gotta be really careful with the permissions that you give to the apps that you download on your phone. And you can always go through your device settings to audit this after the fact. If you're chronically online like me, then you might remember this story that was doing the rounds on the internet about 10 years ago. It was a story about a bloke who checked his mail one day and to his horror saw that he had received target discount coupons addressed to his teen daughter for maternity clothes and baby toys. This guy was shocked and appalled why was the Target Corporation trying to convince his daughter to get pregnant? He stormed into his nearest Target, but the staff were just as confused as he was and he left without an explanation. A few months later, the father returned to the Target and hat in hand, he apologized to the staff at the store. Neither he nor his daughter knew this at the time, but his daughter was pregnant. Target had been able to profile her so accurately with the data that they had bought about her that they knew that she was pregnant before she did. Now we can't confirm that this story is definitely true, but we can confirm that what it describes is possible through what's known as predictive advertising. This basically means that they'll target you with advertisements for products that you don't know you want yet because they're confident that you're gonna figure it out pretty soon. This may sound insane, but the truth is that we have so much personal information collected and sold to advertisers that they can create profiles that tell them things about us that we might not know about ourselves. I'm not going to say that I know for sure that your phone isn't listening to you. But what I will say very confidently is that your phone is spying on you and it's doing it in a way that's probably more effective than if it was actually listening to what you were saying. If that freaked you out, I'm not surprised. It's creepy, man. It's weird. And we've got a bunch more stuff on the channel about other ways that you're tracked online. So you should probably check it out. You should probably like and subscribe if you wanna learn a bit more and learn how to protect yourself. As usual, I'm Cam from the session team and I'll be back soon with some more hot takes and privacy tips. I'll see you then.